Hi folks, you're tuned into Business Today. I'm Sakshi Batra. Now, if you're someone who likes to track markets and reading about technical analysis, then you must have heard the term moving averages a lot. So what exactly is moving averages? Now, technical analysts use the term moving averages to identify market trends and to understand when a trend may be reversing. Now, moving averages actually reveal the average price of a tradable instrument over a given period of time. These are called moving because as the price moves, new data is added into the calculation and therefore changing the averages. Now, in my previous video, I already explained what is exactly a 200 days moving average. In case you missed that one out, do check it out now by clicking on the link given in the description box. Now, uh, there are different ways to really calculate averages. And this is why there are also different types of moving averages. Now, two of the most common types are simple and exponential moving averages. Let us look at the differences between the two moving averages and see which one is actually better for traders and investors to follow. Now, one is how to calculate a simple moving average. Now, to calculate a 10-day simple moving average, for example, of a stock, you should add the closing prices of the last 10 days of that stock and divide that by 10, and you will have a 10-day simple moving average. Similarly, to calculate a 20 days moving average in a simple manner, add the closing prices over a 20-day period and then divide by 20. Now, what is an exponential moving average? Exponential moving average focuses more on the recent prices than on a long series of data points. Now, the exponential moving average is designed to improve on the idea of a simple moving average by giving more weight to the most recent price data, which is considered to be more relevant than the older data. Like all moving averages, this technical indicator too is used to produce a buy or a sell signal based on the crossovers, divergences from the historical averages as well. Now, traders often use several different exponential moving averages lengths such as 10, 50-day, 200-day moving averages as well. Now, the calculation of an exponential moving average is more complicated and involves three processes. One is calculation of the simple moving average. Next is computation of a multiplier. And then comes computation of the current exponential moving average. I know it's a little bit technical, but for all those who really want to study this, you will have to practice all of this to really know how it works on a daily basis as well. I'll just basically explain to you why an exponential moving average is used. Now, exponential moving average, vis-a-vis -a, -vis a short term or simple moving average is used for a shorter time period and fast moving markets. Now, EMAs are really capable of representing a quick shift in the market sentiment. It also puts weight on actions of market participants as well. So for traders and investors looking to know which one is really better for them, it actually depends on how and what kind of scenarios are you looking at. We've also seen both complementing each other, but both of these averages also have some kind of limitations as well. Basically, you've just got an idea of what exactly a simple moving average in a term is said is in indicates and what an exponential moving average indicates so that you, whenever you read about it and listen to it, you're not caught off guard and you exactly know what is being talked of here in in a simple manner. That was the idea of this video. In case you liked it, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.